Greg, what do you remember most about the UTSA game last year? Um, last year's game, I remember um, they came out talking, talking a bunch of trash out there throughout the whole game. Um, I mean, their safeties, they tried to get in, into your business the whole game. Um, I mean, just kind of late pushing and shoving. So um, there's a little tension in between us, and I know um, it's probably going to be the same way this year. I know uh, it's going to be high stakes throughout the whole game, and uh, we're going to have to bring it to be able to uh, come out with a W at third place. Gaines kind of had a coming out party on Saturday. A lot of fans, I guess, weren't expecting that. Was that something you guys have seen from him in practice? Um, I knew it was something he was capable of doing. And um, I mean, it was just a matter of time before he was able to show it out in the game. And he um, definitely proved that um, this Saturday. I mean, I was, I, was, I was very impressed by him just to be able to see him uh, go have the game that he did. It was like, he had like 165 yards, I think. Um, it was just good to uh, be able to see him just ball out the way he did, and um, hopefully he can just continue to do that the rest of the season for us. How key was for y'all to keep your composure if they do, you know, talk a little trash, considering there's a lot of penalties, uh, unsportsmanlike penalties in the Lafayette game. Um, Coach obviously wasn't happy with, with those after the game. Yeah, Coach Holtz was very disappointed in us. I mean, which he should be. Um, we made a bunch of childish deci decisions out there in the Lafayette game, and. Um, I mean, I think throughout this week it's going to be something that he focuses on and something that we focus on, knowing the way that UTSA plays. So um, I don't think we'll really have a problem with it, um, just having the experience we have from last week's game. Hey, did you play down there, I guess, two years ago in San Antonio? Yes, sir. What kind of atmosphere did that dome provide? Um, it's a tremendous atmosphere. I mean, I love playing there. Um, they, bring, they bring a bunch of fans out to the games and just <coughs> – um, I guess the way the stadium is built, I mean, it gets pretty loud in there. Um, you know, third downs, can't really hear too much, so we're going to be focused all week and preparing for that. So. Did y'all talk at all about that game two years ago? Because it, it really wasn't close. I think it was the last game of the year. Um, they won like 30 to 7 or something. It was, it was a blowout that y'all lost. So y'all discuss it or will you discuss that game at all? Um, we haven't really discussed it at all, and I don't think we will. I mean, compared to the team we have now and the team we had um, that year, it's a huge difference. I mean, we've improved tremendously since then. So, I mean, I don't think that game is anything compared to um, what's going to be happening this coming Saturday. On paper, they have a 1-4 record. From what you've heard and seen, that they look like a 1-4 team? No, they don't. Um, and that's something that Coach Holtz is – already talked to us about. He said, don't look at their record. Um, if you just watch the film on them, you'll, you'll know that they are, um, they're a team that flies around, they can make plays, and they got, they got a bunch of athletes on that team. So we're gonna have to come prepared and um, be ready for what, the, for what they throw at us this week. How do you think your defense will maybe compare to some of the looks you've seen in the last couple of weeks? Lafayette blitz, uh, so sort of Kansas State brought some pressure. Did the same. What were you expecting? Um, Coach already talked about um, their defensive front. He said they have a great uh, front four, so that's something our O line is going to really have to be ready for. And um, I don't know how much that's going to affect our game plan. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens throughout the week. What Coach Holtz wants us to do. So. Are you surprised that teams still cover you one on one? Um, I was surprised Lafayette did that. I mean. I thought they would learn um, at this point. I mean, we have too many weapons out on that field for them to do that to us. But, I mean, uh, we definitely showed them Saturday. So.